What is going on, guys? Wiser here, coming in with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was our CWL Week 4 matchup versus No Luck, Just Skill. Uh, as you can see, came away with a huge victory. We had a, a fantastic war on, on all fronts. Um, we were really happy with our performance. Uh, and, you know, it's a tough war for No Luck, Just Skill. Um, they, they definitely had some struggles. I, I, I know I've been on that end, and uh, it's just <laughs> it's tough to get through. But anyways, we were really happy with our performance. And I have way too many t attacks to show you, so I'm just going to jump right in. Honestly, you know, I've had a few drinks tonight and been sort of chilling after the war. I got done early. And I was like, you know, should I do the recap in the morning? Nah, I'm just going to do it right now. So I started going through the attacks. And <laughs> there's like, I think we only had one dip on the Town Hall 10s. I mean, there's a few, where are they? Yeah. A few, like, really low tier. I guess not really low. We'll start with this hit on Manny. Um, so, obviously, uh, level two Infernos, but no big deal. Um... This is still just absolutely a uh, crushing of a base we're going to see here. I uh, really like the attack by Manny. Since the suicide here is in at nine, or suicide queen rather. She's going to work her way in. Ends up getting pretty good value. I think she gets the Inferno Tower, starts to step up, takes care of uh, at least one of these air defense here. Uh, Wall Wrecker is in. Nice little funnel is down. Still has that king to drop, all right? The Golem's in there doing the tanking on the Expo. Wall Wrecker's going to really just push right into the second Inferno Tower. This whole basically bottom 50% of the base gets absolutely smashed on this entry. Queen follows it up. Rage goes down to help things out. Finally, that Wall Wrecker bursts. Doesn't really matter though. Poison down on the CC. The Hound comes out, so the Queen gets locked up for a little bit here, but no big deal. Poison is down. That Loon is down. King's still in there doing a little bit of damage. Golem jumps into a little tanking. Finally, that Queen just has to mop up all the stupid skellies and pops back. There we go. Now we're talking. Um, and the Queen does a little bit of cleanup here, but it uh, goes down. But look at this. Like, 43% of the base is gone. Just a couple of very close air defenses. It just has to move balloons through this clump of defenses over here. A little bit of a Tesla farm at 3 o'clock. Um, maybe a touch scary, but a nice little freeze. You have the freeze down over the sweeper and both those arch towers. All the stuff's going to go down. Rage goes down. Quickly take out the expo. Another haste goes down. Get throw all those balloons right in on top of those Teslas. And this base is GG. Nice job there, Manny. Boom. That is three. All right. Our tens came out of place. So this is the only one we didn't clear. Uh, number 17. We had Demon going in here, though. Uh, interesting base design that is uh, really just sort of line of offset uh, air defense. Uh, still decides to do the Lalo. I suppose it's sort of like an anti-Lalo, but um, as long as you manage it properly, definitely still Lalo. These bases as Demon is about to show us. A couple Wizards down taking care of that uh, Town Hall as quick as possible. He's going to hit Suicide King in and Queen right behind. You're going to walk up, get this air defense, get all these defenses out of the way. Wizards get a little bit more value there as well at 6 o'clock. Queen's going to step up. Wall breakers go in. Really just wants to walk the queen in and up. And when she has the ability, both these air defense in the core and the defensive queen are going to go down. So, see this in one second. Down goes air defense. Down goes defensive queen. I don't think she quite gets this air defense here. Yeah, she does. Nice. Very nice. So, perfect entry. Uh, basically now has two Lava Hounds with this blimp and 30 balloons. So it goes ahead and gets that early haste down, just haste right in on top of that air defense. And then starts his Lalo. I'm just going to sort of do a counterclockwise rotation around the base. Haste go down, has so many balloons. I'm going to have to drop that uh, blimp in from 12 o'clock. All these Arch Towers and this juicy stuff in this core. Blimp's basically going to pop right over top of this core. He's going to have a rage spell for that. There she is. 
Second rate spell and a freeze is going to go down. Just got to work through the rest of this base over here. Still has lots of health on that. Lava Hound takes a mine in the face and has a second Lava Hound with a ton of health as well. Uh, really, at this point, this base does not stand a chance whatsoever. Skelly spell in the bag for cleanup. Tesla and Inferno Tower remain. Down they go. I'm going to do a little fast forward action here. Kind of nice, because uh, both bursts on the Lava Hounds didn't need it. There's no way. He has so many balloons, his base was done for no matter what. But nonetheless, three and star for Demon. Nice job. All right. Oh, Kinger. Man, our, our 10 showed up. Our, absolutely. It was, we are on fire, 10v10. A lot of guys with six packs. Uh, King really stepping in. Uh, I think I watched this attack live. I was a, um, I was actually going to stream, but uh, kind of came uh, home from work and I was gonna stream, but there was a bunch of people on DC and we we're all friendly challenging while watching the war. I was gonna stream that, uh, but I don't know. I was just having fun, so I just uh, said whatever, no big deal. Uh, good times, anyways. Uh, so you're gonna see nice little sort of natural bitch here right two healers on either side which is bowlers on either side and a bunch right up the core nice little free spell help take care of those clan castle troops freeze uh is absolutely necessary on these entries i find all the time you really want to freeze uh generally either the infernal tower make sure your wall record survives a little bit or freeze those uh clan castle troops you know you get your wall again really more is to preserve the wall record um, because uh, what I find really those Inferno Towers and then like a Clan Castle with some Valks in it really just shred your wall record or even uh, balloons as well. Balloons just seem to smash your wall record instantly. So really got to protect against that. As you can see though, this bitch is just sort of fanning out now. There's only these sort of backside defenses to go. Ton of stuff <laughs> sitting at that nine o'clock beating through that wall. As soon as the wall opens up, everything's just going to move around. Still has a heal spell to go as well. I think he uses it near 12 o'clock. Do a little bit of fast forward as this sort of death ball works its way up at around 12 o'clock. Mm -mm -mm. Town Hall was down. Obviously, there's way too many defenses with those two healers as well, even though they just actually went down. I get a little dice here with this Inferno Tower and then that little troll Tesla. Down it goes. you got to keep in mind the Queen ability is still intact. But Inferno Tower barely has any health anyways. Down she goes. Three in the bag. Nice job, Kinger. Oh, Erickson bringing the Ice Witch. This attack, man. I don't know. Um, having a lot of fun with it. Um, finding it very useful against a lot of different styles of bases. Um, there is a bit of a nuance to it. Like a lot of it just seems like let's just send witches in here and hope for the best. But you slowly start to feel like it's an on the fly attack. Really got to just be careful where you're freezing, when you're freezing, why you're freezing. Um, got to get that wall wrecker in deep. Got to make sure, obviously, the your heroes funnel in with a little bit of action as well. Um, and honestly, it's for me has had a really high success rate. See, just freezing those clan castle troops, freezing that backside inferno, making sure uh, just as the wall rocker progresses through the base, keeping it alive. Right now, heal goes down, raise goes down. Let the troops out of the wall wrecker and just smash everything around them. Down goes all those juicy defenses, and basically uh, the kill squad now, the queen and the king have access to a big chunk of the base. The queen didn't follow, unfortunately. She's down here beating on a wall. We see all these witches and bowlers are just getting big, big value. Really, once this Inferno Tower goes down, which it will. And things are looking good at this point. Honestly, uh, the queen has barely any help, but going to hit that ability. There she goes. A couple Tesla's going to go at 12 o'clock, but really with two healers and five, four or five witches up there and everything around the band over at 3 o'clock. This base does not stand a chance. Down go the Teslas. Three in the bag for Eric. Fucking great job, man. Our 10s are just lit. Tanu, another guy just stepping up. With awesome, uh, awesome attacks here. Couple baby D's. Gonna get that phone going. 
Uh, I believe he just goes sort of straight at this corner with the record, right? Just really wants to hit the two air defense, basically get this whole um, kind of six o'clock section out of the way. That's why he's bringing the golem, bunch of wizards, and obviously his wall record with his heroes. Do a little bit of fast forward, and you're gonna see the wizard goes down. In she goes, golem, couple more wizards, wall wrecker, and away goes this kill squad. You go know, right in at both these air defense. Poison's gonna go down over the clan cast troops. There she is. No freeze on the entry here. A nice little freeze over this stuff would have uh, would have sort of prolonged things a little bit, but he does get the wall down, so it doesn't really matter because that's all he wanted to clear. Down it goes. Awesome. Rage still working. Queen's going to go ahead and walk around the base and help out. She steps up and takes up a ton of this stuff. I don't even think that was in the plan. Really, as long as he had this 6 o'clock section, he had his V-shape he's created, that little sort of carving out that piece of the base, and then you just go from 9 o'clock up to 12 and back down to 3 o'clock uh, with his Lalo pathing and everything's going to look fine and dandy. See this queen just getting still, just getting huge value. I think she finally goes down. No, not even. I think she takes this expo down. Expo Peace. That's right. She helps out a little bit still with the cleanup. So many balloons at this point. Raid spelled down at the end. Still has a heal and haste. Why not use them? Didn't need them. Absolutely. Heal at the end. A couple air skellies aren't going to do anything. Absolutely curses this tanner. Nice job. The King Pad. Oh, man, how many more tens? Tannin with his six-pack. 24 balloons this time at three lab ounce. So, suicides the heroes right in. Again, sort of carving out this uh, nine o'clock, or sorry, three o'clock section. Queen goes in behind. When I dropped that queen a little bit earlier, there's no real need to not drop her. She would have started hollowing on defenses. King goes in fine with the uh, ability. Goes in and sends in a couple balloons. Try and get that wizard tower down. I'll let Baby D goes in and creates that funnel work. <clears throat> Forcing the sweeper prevents that, but no big deal. Queen's going to walk in and take out still. I think she ends up and even gets a, the Inferno Tower here. Nope, apparently not. Man. Tana, how did you come away with this one? <laughs> I'm impressed. I think I, I, I don't know if I missed this one. I watched, I thought all the 10 all the 10 attacks, but I don't remember that because this is a lot of base for this Lalo. But keep in mind, he does have three Lava Hounds, so uh, that's looking pretty good at this point. Still has that one Hound. He's going to move in, in behind, sends the Fresh Hound in straight from 9 o'clock. Just needs to let the loons work through the base. Uh, ends up getting the max loons over this uh, Inferno Tower, so that is good. Uh, I do not think they make that air defense there, but he still has far too many balloons on this side with one more haste. There she goes. Push the balloons in onto the core air defense. And they just got to make their way over top of these last handful of defenses. Looks a little bit dicey at this point because that uh, air defense still just wreaking havoc on the balloons. But there is just enough of them you're going to see. Gets on over to the air defense. Down she goes. Down goes the expo. Beautiful attack, Tanny. Nice job, man. Look at all these minions and shit over here. Belligerent recaps for the win. Man. All right. So, Daniel. Um, saw, yeah, uh, this base, you know, a couple of different ways you could hit this base, I think. I've, I've um, seen this style before with this really sort of um, indent, and you create sort of this weird kind of pocket for, uh, as long as you create a reasonable clan like witches with healers, they're just going to walk in here, and I find gut that out. So that's what Dan does here, just walks up one side with the heroes, can follow up 1-800-653. Blue Ribbon Pavilion Music Venues. Wow, that is an odd phone call to get. I'm not answering that one. Anyhow, uh, what I was saying, use the wall record to kind of go up one side of the base, follow around the witches on the other side, let the other witches go in that pocket and just do their thing with these healers. Still both healers on that, on those witches. Uh, to go has that Builder's Hut at three, but it doesn't really matter. Far too many troops. 
Go, Dan, go. Nice three-star, buddy. Bam. Mixa. I think it makes a, a 11 v 11 and a 10 v 10, a 2 10 v 10, maybe. We're going to find out. Uh, but he brings the minor hit. I love seeing these minor hits. Um, you're just going to see the wall record with the queen. Uh, on this side, creates a huge funnel, uh, sort of chunks out this whole 9 o'clock section, sends in the minor super early and the king to funnel on the other side. Nice little quick heel down there over the bomb tower. Really, he's got to work that defensive king, right? You send in that many miners against those heroes. They don't stand a chance. Work through this base. Two more heels go down. Queen's going to lock on that lava hound. So that's unfortunate. But the hound just sort of runs away from her and goes after the miners. Like, absolutely perfect. Uh, you know, when there's a hound in the CC, miners are definitely, definitely a go-to attack. Still has that one heel. He's going to go ahead and drop over those defenses. Queen's going to help out a little bit as well before she goes down to those cannons. Doesn't matter at this point. Too many freaking miners to go. Three stars in the bag for Mixa. Nice job. Gosh, and beers tonight, man. Mm. Yeah, Mixa definitely, I'm pretty sure, had a nine star warrior. Uh, so goes ahead and brings uh, three Lava Hounds and 22 Balloons for his back end with this uh, entry he's going to bring. Baby D goes down, blow her down to create that funnel. Goes ahead and drops the uh, Loon and another Baby D. <clears throat> just enough to take down that Tesla and goes ahead and drops the King in now. And he's just going to work his uh, Wall Wrecker straight up through that Inferno Tower. If he can just chunk off that whole 3 o'clock section... Uh, he has a really good opportunity with three Lava Hounds going against these very clumped up air defense uh, and just taking out uh, the whole other side of the base, right? These uh, sweepers do sort of pose a bit of an issue, as you're going to see. But uh, other than that, honestly, this attack just absolutely crushes. Oh, come that clan castle. Got to get the Arch Queen down and the Baby D out of the way, and once that happens, he's going to go ahead and commence his Lilo. Obviously, the air defense are going to go down at the same time as well. So let's kind of move that queen up. Da, da, da. She's going to hit that ability. Take out, No, she goes down this, right? So it doesn't even take out that air defense, but <clears throat> you can see this Lilo start commencing, jumping in real early from the uh, sort of 4 o'clock location. Bunch of balloons in. First lava hound goes in. Gonna send the other hound in right behind and another one. And you're gonna the rest of the balloons going in right at that Tesla. Bunch of haste go down. Sort of an interesting race placement. I'm not sure what he's saying. The worst part about that was uh with the way the sweeper was. Sweeper's automatically gonna keep him to the outside there. So um, but <laughs> does hit the race for a moment. Uh, he could have pushed it up more, but honestly, um, it ended up doing the trick. It's really all I needed. Uh, so the sweepers are uh, now just really nothing they can do because they're going to wrap around. They're going to hit them at this section right near the expo. But other than that, there's way too many balloons and not enough splash defense now at this point. A little bit of a fast forward. Oh, man. I am tired. I absolutely need to get this in now, though. If I didn't get this in now, I'm sleeping all day tomorrow. I my full day off. Actually, the next three days off. So freaking pumped. Probably go to the Lions game tomorrow. And just chill. So I don't want to have to worry about anything tomorrow whatsoever. Erickson, another guy with six-pack. Guess what? Frozen Witch. Bringing it in. Uh... Either side is going to rate at these two expos. You're going to go freeze, freeze, and freeze and get the Inferno Tires. Whole entrance is going to be frozen here as he enters the base. <clears throat> Position those um, witches and healers sort of perfectly there. He's going to, you're going to see the witches lock onto this uh, air defense very, very quickly. He does lose, I think, a couple of them, but they go down fast enough. Yeah, so he loses one on either side, but that's... Just enough to make sure the witches continue to go. Goes ahead and gets the freeze down on the Inferno Tower. Other freeze goes down, but might have been a bit of a waste for that second freeze. Doesn't really matter. Heal and the rage for the bowlers. They pop out. They're going to step up and take out the defensive queen. Take out all of this stuff here. If he can get into this compartment, it is GG from this point. He obviously does. See these bowlers and king in a rage. Smash that wall corner. 
no big deal. Everything's falling in. Nice little sort of death clump he's got. A couple witches with a couple healers on the outside, sort of continuing up the cleanup. <clears throat> this point is pretty much GG. Just got to get through here. So it gets a little bit dicey because his queen ends up getting left alone. The two, uh, the two Tesla, a lot of cleanup left to do. You're going to see her beat through this wall with the healer's lock. Or the one healer left locked on. There's their two healers now. Um, but but uh, it's just enough. These are all three of these defenses are spaced out enough. One healer's enough. Hits the ability. Tree in the bag. Nice job, man. Sorry, just checking in. Man. I should not be doing a recap right now. I am so tired. I've been up. I only slept for like four hours last night. I was up all day working. And I should be sleeping, but it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Good old Neon bringing her classic Queen Walk bitch back here. Uh, basically, she just sort of decides, I think, where she can send that queen in safely get an air defense and let her continue to work. Send the wall wrecker in at a reasonable angle to make sure the client castle, queen, and a big chunk of the base gets taken out. And send witches on the other side to sort of create the funnel and take out as much shit on, on the other side as you can. And more often than not, I see ways to get three after three after three after three. So there's a huge, there's definitely a method to her madness. And I think that's like I that's what I sort of think when uh, when I, I see this attack. I'm like, okay, that's what I would pick. Obviously, where's your queen gonna be the safest to last the raid? Because how many times have these uh, do you guys do these uh, sort of bitches where your queen steps up, gets a couple healers lock onto her, and she is the savior of the raid? So you'll see that quite often. So the safer your queen is, the better these attacks seem to go. And as you can see, there's a ton of base left, like 25, 26%. And the healers lock onto the king, which is nice, but you're gonna see basically four or five bowlers and king queen combo take out the entire rest of the space. We're gonna fast forward a little bit. Bam, bam, bam. King takes down the wizard tower. Queen steps up, still has that ability. <laughs> just, it's just too much, right? Once all of the air defense are down, there's no danger really whatsoever, uh, especially with the queen ability still intact. Crushes it, waves. You are our fearless leader. I love it. Nice hit. Uh, all right. I think this is the first 11 v 11. Yeah. So eight witches, 13 bowlers, six giants, two healers on either side. Uh, basically, stat, uh, standard bitch stack right here with uh, the between the nine and six location, sending the kill squad in, in between. Giants go in, wall wrecker is gonna go down with a bunch of bowlers and basically just charge in these huge compartments. Um, especially with like the, the broken walls on that side, like I just don't fully understand this base. Uh, but you're gonna sort of see uh, with the huge compartments and it's just clump of death. Uh, it's absolutely going to crush this bitch. Freezes that evil cannon, freeze that inferno tower, freeze the CC troops, these weird little holes. Wall record gets crazy value. Get one more freeze down. We're going to go ahead and heal down and rage down. There she is. Let the bowlers do their thing in the core. Heroes moving in on the outside. Very nice job on that entry. Queen is doing some serious damage. She's going to lock on that uh, hound finally there. Doesn't really matter though at this point. He's got a ton of witches on the outside. King in there doing tanking. Warden ability um, has been used, but uh, it is protecting all those troops at three o'clock. Honestly, at this point, the way the symmetry and these huge compartments work, this base does not stand a chance. Down goes that archer tower and there's backside defenses to go, but there's far too many witches and bowlers on either side with uh, still all four healers intact. I think that's a really important point to this raid. With all four healers keeping things going, I mean, these witches got stalled down here for quite a long time, but it doesn't really matter. Tree in the bag. Nice job. Mix it with the nine-star war. Uh, who else we got? What would a recap be without Warble going in with a very interesting comp? Huge kill squad. Seven bowlers. 
uh, the golem with the baby D, a couple wizards. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and push right into this base. I remember where he starts his attack. This is the second, second one I watched. Okay, so baby D, free town hall. That's pretty good. Was into that wizard down. Uh, gets just one more building out of the way and gets that king in finally. I think he was hoping the wizard would be able to attack the town hall without the cannon getting him, but it doesn't really matter. King is in, Bowler is in, getting some bounces on that wizard tower down there. Really good value on his extra troops. Golem goes in. And we're going to take down the Eagle Cannon, which is on a very offset location. I thought that was kind of interesting as well. It's just very easy access to that Eagle, so I don't think that was a, sort of a good design. Uh, other than that, though, because how close the Queen was, how close, it's just everything was. He basically now takes out the entire 9 o'clock diamond, right, on that, on that one section. Um, and now has 17 balloons with two hands to sort of go over that V shape like we always talk about. Queen is still going, though. Poison's <laughs> down. Clan Castle troops are done. Hit that ability warp. There she is. Take down the expo. And perfect. Just absolutely perfect pathing. Goes ahead and starts that Lalo from 12 o'clock. Haste goes down. Lava Hound in. It's going to haste on through. More balloons reinforcing all down to the 2 to 3 o'clock location. Blimp goes in as well. It's going to go ahead and get the haste going down. And, uh, let the balloons get right on top of the fences and another haste down to let those max balloons just sort of work their way through the base. <laughs> Probably want to drop that hound earlier because it's going to sit there forever now. Nothing much left of this base whatsoever. A little bit of a four times because this base is done. It's got a million balloons. Probably was just a matter of time at this point. Bam, bam, bam. Get that king. See you later. And three. That one was for you, Warp. Very sexy hit, buddy. What else we got? 12v12. But it's not Predator. This is my boy McSmash. Showing it up. Uh, really, uh, it's... Awesome war all together. This attack, watching this attack live was just unreal. Uh, Smash goes in basically from the 12. Wizards in, creates that funnel. And things are looking uh, pretty good already. He's going to just walk right in with these heroes and this king, uh, or sorry, and these giants, sorry. Uh, wall Wrecker bursts. Rage goes down. All the stuff's going to smash. Gets that defense queen out of the way. Gets the eel out of the way. Expo out of the way. All this nine o'clock section is done for, and he barely spent anything. He still has three lava hands with 28 balloons. Like, that is unbelievable. And his grand ward. <laughs> so, <coughs> really nice value. Queen even steps up, takes care of the air defense at the top. Doesn't really matter, honestly. Uh, way he's going to do this attack, just crushes it. Tesla's all on this outside, doesn't matter. One, two, three hounds. Warden goes in behind. Queen is still doing some cleanup work up there. Uh, pace go in, and it's just basically a straight shot, straight down that side of the base, moving in from 2 o'clock, basically down to 7 o'clock, and haste all over the place. Warden in to protect. Clone spell goes down, just crushing it. Very nice hit. Smash. Like, this is done for already. Like, there's just so much. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> Love it. Bam. Burn tower down, last few defenses to go, a little a bit of cleanup, and that was a gorgeous attack. Uh, like that one. Bam. Alright. So sorry for the slightly drunken recap. It had to happen though, or was it gonna happen? So 2.0. Moves up to 4-0 and on the season. I love it. Um, we are gunning for playoffs. We're gunning for this. Uh, I can see it. Um, someone posted in DC earlier, just showing sort of our stats from season, uh, sorry, week one to week four. Um, vast improvements. Our guys are working hard. Friendly challenging constantly. Um, it's, it's unreal. You know, the base building's going on. And uh, really proud. Really proud of this little group. Uh, Going 4-0 so far, and we will see what happens. I think we got a few weeks. I don't know. If, I think we have three weeks of bye week now. Um, not really sure what's going on exactly with that, but we might have one more week, or it's bye week for three weeks. 
Uh, I'll have to check again. I don't pay attention to this stuff. Uh, you know, I just uh, I just drink Weisers and enjoy the game. So I guess that'll do it here for your wisdom from Weiser. Till next time, I'm out.